and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every Live Break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified, authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the UA Live Break Room. I'm Diane Rollins. That's Garrett Campbell, and we're excited to be here tonight. It is 326 2021, guys. Exciting night here in the UA Live Breaks. Garrett, do you want to tell everybody why it's an exciting night here in the UA Live Breaks? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Didn't pre -hearse or rehearse this at all. Well, we dropped two new series. That's it, Garrett. You got it. You got it. We dropped two new series today. We have a platinum. It's called. Uh, should be defense. Defense. That is defense. No. It's, it's defense. You have the wrong boxes in here. Yeah, I brought the wrong boxes in here. Yeah. Yep, hundred percent. Defense. So I have to get those boxes while we're new boxes. Yeah. Not a problem at all. We got the defense platinum helmet series, and then we have tailgate college full size helmet series. We got complete NFL black box helmets. We have the bus minis. We have running for miles. We have. The jerseys, we have script helmets, we have A-Train, we're ready to go. Guys, thank you for joining us. Let's get into it tonight. Feeling, we're feeling a long one tonight, right, Gary? So we're going to get into our dice roll early. We're going to get our dice roll out of the way. It's got to be a six or higher. Six and two makes an eight. Six and two makes an eight. That's going to be our dice roll for tonight. So every time we get into our random NFL divisions, random NFL divisions, we will go eight times. Let's do our first break. Running for miles. Let's get a running for miles break. Oh, ooh, Gams. Noticing the noticing the fresh fade with the freshie. Come on. What's up, William? Cleveland, Ohio checking in with you. Appreciate it. What's up, Matthew Granis? Let's rock and roll. We got a uh, running for miles number one. If you guys would like to give us two box numbers, if you guys are involved in the break. If you're not involved with the break, we please ask you to refrain from calling out box numbers until it is your turn and time to shine. Woo! How about all that, Garrett? That was three minutes of glory. Three minutes of talking. It was incredible Fast. stuff. Well, all right. Random divisions are set. We have eight times on our dice roll. Let's get two box going. Josh Mills. We got Ryan Murray, Verlin, Derek, Michael, Josh Bates, Ty, and Danny Dredge. 
Let's go. Let's go. Really got to swap out those boxes. I can't believe you picked the wrong one. I'm trying to think where the other ones even are. They're in the back. Oh, the back, back, back table. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Are we close to filling a platinum? Uh, I think we got three spots left. Fresh fade today, William. I love the love, you know? I love the love for the for the haircut. Garrett is a haircut guy. He's his hat guy. So, I mean, I'm trying to be a hat guy. I'm just not, plain and simple, not good enough, you know? And it's hard. It's hard to be able to rock hats and look good in all hats, you know? I've never been a dad hat kind of guy. 2734, thank you, Michael Walker. You ever been a dad hat kind of guy? I can, I can rock that. And you? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, my head's too dang big to rock a dad hat. <clears throat> you know? Too much knowledge in there. So much brain. All right, here we go. <laughs> 2734. How do you guys feel about the new tables? Here we didn't get much, much about the new tables yesterday. I was a little bit disappointed. Because Mr. Dave Everding was a huge... Huge ambassador of getting the new tables in. He put them in all by himself too. He literally carried them by himself. In Strong the man. Back at COA. Strong dude right there. Strong like bull. Oh. Dang. Nice catch there, Buster Let me Posey. See that camera. Oh. Nice catch, Buster Posey. Woo! Hell yeah. Run in for miles. Number one, we have Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore, 2018 Defensive Player of the Year. I want to say. Or defensive rookie of the year. He's a good little defensive cornerback. Goes to Ryan Murray. 2017. 20 player of the year. Or defensive player. Defen of the year? Rookie defensive rookie right. of the year. Defensive rookie of the year. You are right, sir. Five, one, four. Oh nope. yeah. Oh, does Marshawn Lattimore have a rest? What happened with Marshawn Lattimore? What do you do? Uh, it's going to be well, without. The answer is no. It does not. If you want that. You're gonna have to do some existential research. It's probably public information, to be honest. What happened? I have no idea what he's talking about. Maybe he got his Marshawns mixed up. He just got arrested yesterday. Oh wow! Okay. For what? Uh, what the hell did he do? Thirty-four. Wow. Oh, Gams wants to get wild and crazy. Of course he does. Gams. <laughs> Gams wants to get wild and crazy tonight in the UA library. First hit was for Ryan Murray, our second hit. A Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. And we have, coming out of the AFC, woo nasty little mini helmet right here. Look at that. Oklahoma State Cowboy, Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas. Wow, that's beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Going to the AFC East. For Ty C. Ty would rather not mispronounce the last name there. Ty, well done. Running for miles number one, a double box. Helmet break. Firearms and a couple other things. Dang. So it looks like he got he uh, and Lamar arrested after allegedly having loaded stolen gun um, charged with receiving stolen property. Why? 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 Charged why? with fourth degree felony. Why do you need a gun? Yeah, why does he need a gun? And why does he need a stolen gun? He's worth like a lot of millions of dollars. Why don't you just buy a gun? So, yeah. I mean, you don't need to have one. I don't know. I don't know what he's going through. He might need one on him at all times. That's not good. Maybe he likes to, as what they call, stay strapped. I don't know. Yeah. Is a tailgate college helmet, and it's a full size, full size helmet series. It's awesome. Some of the biggest headliners we've ever had in that series: Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, the goods. Chase Young is on there too. Let's do jersey number one: Michael Richards, Danny Dredd, Jake Mannix. Jake Mannix, two spots. Hey, Jacob, Verlin, Derek, Josh, Ryan, Murray. Let's get a box number for jersey break number one. When me and my gang pull up. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Me and you. Oh. Like the Wendy's? Probably. <laughs> get, get, four by get that 4x4. Four four. Uh, Angela, what's going on, Angela? Okay, okay. There we go. Right there. Maybe. Nope. That's how you do it, huh? 
All right, here we go. The Browns were looking at him, but that just canceled that. Oh, that's not good. What's up, Angela? Uh, J Books quad mini. We can try that. I think we have mini number three posted right now. It's a double box break. When that fills, we'll do a quad. Time for jersey number one, however. We got Ryan, Verlin, Jacob, Derek, Michael Richards, Jacob, Danny, and Josh Mills. There you go. William Wayne says, that's my. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Thanks for letting me know, William. Is this contract up then? I guess so. Must be the end of the rookie deal. All right. Well, the Bears are looking for a corner. I, mean, I would still take uh, him. I, I, I don't think he gets along with many of the Bears players, though. I, mean, I feel like they, he, have, they he had their call beef. Tariq Cohen short. They had their the beef game. with them. That's yeah. a good point. He was the guy that calls Cohen short, wasn't he? Well, we'll give you money for it. <laughs> you can come over here. We can be friends. He's really good. He's very good. He is really good. He'll be a bear. Just wait for it. Ow. <coughs> Woo! Nice. 27 and 34. We're going to get a box. I'll randomize box number for the jerseys. Jerseys, we have 17, 18, 19, 21, and 22, and 20. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <coughs> All right, here we go. We'll randomize. Pardon me. We will randomize. I don't think he's done, though. Box number 20. I don't, I don't think his career is over. No, he's fine. He's, fine. he's probably fine. He'll be back and playing this year. Yeah, I don't think I don't think his career is over. Probably be one of those, like, if that, if anything, like a two-game two, two game suspension. Yeah, three, I would say four-game max. Four games. Three game suspension tops. Yeah. Tops. Yeah. He, I don't think he's, he's. The NFL makes too much money off of him for them to. True. He'll find. He's like a star. He's probably one of the better corners in the NFL. I agree. Here we go. Box number 20. Box number 20. Good luck, guys. We have a JSA COA. Our hit is a headliner. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. A little North Carolina. Tar Heels jersey for Lawrence Taylor. Oh, my goodness. LT Lawrence Taylor, number 98. How beautiful is that? Who's got the NFC East? Let's see. Who's got the NFC East? Oh, my goodness. Mr. Mannix. Mr. Jacob Mannix is taking it down in the NFC East. College items go to their longest tenure, or if they're current, they go to the team they currently play for. We all know Lawrence Taylor's not in the league anymore. Uh, he is a New York giant for life. That is Jacob Mannix with the LT North Carolina. Beautiful hit, Jake. Jake, you got to frame that, dude. That looks sweet on the wall. Jake Mannix is a pretty cool man cave. Pretty cool man cave. Good hit, dude. Very cool hit. I like that he wore 98 in college. That's uh, definitely an out-of-box number for an outside <laughs> linebacker. It's true. All right. Let's do, uh, let's do our complete helmet break. So we got Bryce Miller, Derek, Michael, Josh, Brad, John Ogden, Craig Swift, and Jason Short. You guys want to give us a box number for the complete helmets? We got five of those here in the room. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got helmets. We have 21, 25, 31, 32, 35, 36. Guys, thank you very much for another fill here in the UA Live break room. You said we did a release two new helmet series tonight, Platinums and the College. We'll do College next. Brad, you're the man, 32. You got it. Jimmer Fernet College number. Who's another famous 32? Jim Brown, O.J. Simpson. 32? Jim Brown. Jim Brown with 32? O.J. Simpson, Tyron Matthews, Grant, Cedric Benson. Grant Hill? Was he 33? 33. Um, Magic. Yeah, Magic. Good uh. one. 
I don't know, dude. Damn. Jim Brown again? <laughs> Did, Did we mention Jim Brown? Wait, Jim, Jim Brown wore 32? forgot about that. You work in sports memorabilia. You don't know that? I haven't seen a lot of Jim Brown jerseys. Unbelievable. When's the last time you saw a Jim Brown jersey? I saw a Jim Brown photograph. Oh, is that the jersey? Is that a jersey, Carrot? Marcus Allen, one of my favorite players of all time. True. Yeah. What? Yep. You never told me that. It's a, a recent thing. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that you did tell me that. That's right. For a very fun reason. We'll keep it clean. Right yeah, you can look it up on your own account. You guys look up Marcus Allen. You tell me why he's a great player. Just look up Marcus Allen, OJ. Simpson. OJ Simpson, and then you'll figure it out. <laughs> It is going to be quite the Friday. Beckett, COA. Garrett, I woke up this morning feeling dangerous. I woke mm. up this morning feeling dangerous. That's good. That's probably a high quality. That's going to oh help make your day better. Goodness. Fine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Speaking That's of crazy. the Cleveland Brannies, going to the AFC North for Derek Pitch, hitting a gigantic headliner. It's Baker Mayfield on the Riddell. Matt White. Derek, nice hit, dude. Boom. 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 We see Jim Brown jerseys here in Cleveland. That makes sense in Cleveland. Let's go, man. Let's go. Baker. Baker. Guy makes a lot of commercials. Big fan of Baker, though. I would take Baker on my team any day. Would you rather have Baker or Kirk Cousins, Garrett? Baker. Would you rather have Baker or Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray. Would you have Baker or Sam Darnold? That's an easy one. Uh, all right, we got Tailgate College. I actually, Baker. Sam Darnold? Sam Darnold. Baker? I would take Baker over Sam Darnold. Yeah. Uh, Jason Staggs, do you have any Razorbacks helmets in the college one? Uh, I don't think so off the top of my head. I don't want to give you an incorrect answer. Uh, we should have most lists on the website right now, all those guys. I don't know. The only Razorback know. I've seen in here is a Danny, Danny Hampton. Hampton. Danny Hampton. Mm. Derek said I would take Baker over Murray. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Murray, I think, is fragile. Man, he just scares me when he plays. All right, let's run the... Okay, well, I guess I'm wrong. No, no, no. You're not wrong. It's your opinion. Your opinion. Your opinion's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Sean Norman says Baker's better than Josh Allen. No. Nope. Sean, you're tripping, man. No. Tripping. Nada. Tripping. Incorrect. Tailgate. Tailgate number one. <laughs> we got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tripping, dude. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This guy is tripping. <laughs> Fallout Walt says good luck, everyone. Thank you, Fallout Walt. Appreciate it. Uh, let me think. Who is a great, like, who would you rather have? Baker or... <clears throat> Baker or... Jared Goff. Baker. Ah, that one's too easy. Baker or... I'm going through the divisions of my head, thinking they're quarterback. Baker or Joe Burrow? That's a good one. Joey B. Joey B? I'll go with Joey B. Uh, I think you know me well it's enough. A good one. I like electric players. I like players. Yeah. That, I, I feel like, like Baker's some, electric, though. He's that's got some a good swag. One. That's a good point. That's a tough one. That's a good one. I'm gonna. I'm, I'd probably go Joey B. Would you rather have Baker, Baker or Tua? You know what? Check that. I'm gonna go Baker because he's got better weapons than Joey B has does right at the moment. I'm talking about like on your team. If you were to build a franchise around somebody. Oh, Joey B. Then. Fair. I think, I think Joey B. With the Bears' weapons. Dangerous. Danger. Baker or Tua is a good one. Start a franchise around Baker or Tua. That's a good one. Because Tua, is he the franchise guy on the Dolphins who he's supposed to be a franchise guy with? I don't know, Garrett. I'm not sure. I don't know anymore. Uh, I'm going to go with Baker over Tua. But I'll take... 
Ah, I don't know. I'll take Tua too. He's good. Sean Norman, shoot. of course. Tua hater. Let's get a box number. Let's get a. We'll do the random for the He's challenge. Just upset the Patriots don't have it. I mean, oh, I mean, a dagger from Garrett to Sean Norman. I mean, he just, he always talks about help. Somebody help. Josh, thirteen. Thank you. Thank I you. Thank you. I don't want to get into it. Uh oh. I always get too heated in here. Uh oh. I always get too heated in this mug. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Jacob Maddox, Andy Dalton. You just wait and see, my man. Okay, Jake was a Bengals fan, so he had Andy Dalton for a long time. 13, box 13. Here we go, here we go. Best of luck, everybody. And let me quickly preface. I'll wait, to, I'll wait, wait. Let yeah. me quickly preface. I'll wait and see. Um, we do these by their longest tenure team if they are no longer in the NFL. And if they are in the NFL, we do their current team. You guys think Fitz starts the season? I do. I do think Fitz will be the starter in Washington. They wouldn't sign him if he didn't have a shot. I actually like the Red Rifle. Go on, Tyler Heineke, Heineke, baby. Heineke! Heineke! Back at Seal Wake. Who is he with? I think he's still with him. Yeah, he signed a two-year deal with him. We have a legend of the game. It is a University of Miami hit. Going to the New York Jets division. He's still with the Jets, still in the NFL. It's Frank Gore going to Caitlin. He's a free agent. He got picked up again. He's a free agent. I looked. At, I, I pulled a Miami here yesterday. Really? He's a free agent. Okay. So we're gonna have to look at his longest tenure. Being that he's a free agent. Years. That is headed to the NFC West. NF okay, Caitlin. Regardless. Okay. Caitlin, there you go. You are destined to win this, Frank Gore. Thank you for Garrett for letting me know. No problem. They didn't sign him again. I do know. Uh, when I looked it up. Uh, Wikipedia is not always accurate, but his Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page says he was a free agent. So I'm going to go with that. Well, being accurate. Um, Caitlin wins regardless. Caitlin, congrats! Frank Gore, Miami Hurricanes. Um, it's always kind of a difficult thing to. A little awkward. Because I, I, I gave, I gave it to the NFC West immediately yesterday, and I was like, oh man, he's still in the league. Yeah. Um, I thought he put a social media post that was like, I still got more in me. Yeah, but I, I think he's just, I think that's more of a, he's got more in him shouting out teams to sign him. I'm uh, not really sure. Uh, I don't sure, know. Sure, sure. I don't really know. I think he should go to the Niners and finish his career as a Niner. Aaron says, according to NFL website, he has an unrestricted free agent. Gotcha. Thanks, Aaron. All right. We got running for miles. Number two, Steven Myers, John Rohrbach, Charlie G, Ricky Ashley with three spots, Brad, and Jeremy Elkins. Jeremy, thank you very much, by the way, for yesterday. I very much appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, sir. Jeremy's my new guy. Jeremy is that guy. What, did you get a card? No, I got Eddie Jackson 8x10. Ooh, and my Roquan's card. I got a delivery day as well. It's going to be a good day for the Gare Bear when he gets home. Hell yeah. All right. Running for my... You good? Yeah, the whole thing didn't copy over. Nice. There she goes. All right, let's get a box number for running for miles. Number two, if you guys would like to. We have eight boxes left here in the room. 23, 26, 28, 32, 35, 36, 37, and 40. What's up, Jeremy? Jeremy the man. Appreciate you, Jeremy. Jeremy's a Bears guy, so we love that. Automatically gets brownie points here in the room. All right, 20, and he calls out box number 23, 28. Let's go. Incredible. 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 Um, I just posted tailgate number three. That is a double box break. Still trying to get defense number one filled. We got five spots left in that. Brand new platinum series. Defense! All. So the headliners are the best, some of the best defensive out players. To, to walk the, the best earth. side of the football. The best defensive players played. to walk the earth are headliners in that series. Coming from Most. a guy who played a lot of offense. Uh, true. Yep! Fanatic COA, Garrett. Oh, yeah? Headliner. Headliner. Come on. Going to the AFC South, we have a college eclipse. Jonathan Taylor. Wisconsin Badger, college eclipse. Going to Ricky. Ricky.
Nice hit, Ricky. Jonathan Taylor, that thing is sick. That thing is sweet. Wisconsin Eclipse. And ready for college football. Can't see what the boys do this year. What do y'all think about them? JC, you talking about Arkansas, the Razorbacks? No idea. I know he's a, I know he's a, uh, he's a Razorback guy. I don't know much about the Arkansas team. What do you think, Jason? All right. Back at COA, item number two. Item number two is going to Bo Maryland Terps to college minis in our black box mini helmet series. You might recognize this guy as Sean Lights Out Merriman. This, oh wow, I just thought of something good to say. Sean Merriman the Terrapin. Huh? 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 Little rhyme, never hurt nobody. Sean Merriman going to Ricky. Two for two, Rick. Uh -huh. Garrett, laugh at my jokes, dude. <laughs> that was a good one, man. That was good. I'm going home. Please don't. That's it, guys. Not enough. Sean Merriman. Maryland Terrapin Terriman. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Merriman. Maryland Terriman Terriman. That sounds like Eminem. Merriman Harriman Park. Tenement Terriman. Maryland Terrapins. Sean Merriman. Good, or a little, that actually sounds a little bit like uh, Tech 9, <laughs> to be honest. With the way that you Half a that bottle in. of 151 off in a jug with baby Malibu rum. Maybe that's what's up, anybody, then you. Anybody ever have a <laughs> Fill the rest of the jug with pineapple juice and it's cracking and the only defect is waking up like it happened in my life. There you go. Such a banging song, dude. That's a banger. <laughs> Jacob, I will block you from the chat right now, sir, if you keep up that negative attitude. Oh, no. What do you say? Maryland Terrapins haunt. Merriman. <laughs> All right. We got Jersey, too. We got Matt Davis, Justin, Chris, Ronald, Josh Miller. Here we go. Jersey, two. Here we go. Jake, I, I, I will pull the trigger on you, sir. Do it. I don't care. Do it. Who you is. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I mean, if you Do block it. someone on YouTube, there's three other social Do it. <laughs> platforms Do it. they can access the chat on. Do it. Jersey 2, let's get a box number. We're Do rolling it. tonight. Do it. Want me to do my Eminem again? No, it's definitely Tech 9. It's 100% Tech 9. Merriman. Yeah, see. Maryland Terrapins. Yeah, definitely. That's <laughs> Tech 9, without a doubt. I can hear it. Ah, uh, Tech 9. Tech 9! There, he goes hard. Get a little pre-workout in the system. Take it to the eyeball. Listen to a little bit of Tech 9. I'm sorry, what? You'll be putting up some record numbers on the PR bench for that day. Put it in the eye. Get underneath the squat rack. Let that thing move for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> no way he brought him into, into is the godfather. He brought him into... Sean Norman proclaimed that Eminem is the best rapper alive. Oh, I can see that. And, and Derek is, is saying, no way, Dre is. What's up, Dan? Let's Dan. talk about Andy Dalton. No. Hey, let's no. not. Let's talk about other teams. Let's not talk about Andy Dan's Dalton. Dan's a Cowboys fan, I think. Mm. Nice job, Dan. Let's talk about one ankle Dak. Yeah, Dak. You overpaid him. Yeah, yeah. Nice job getting the, one of the best quarterbacks, Dork. Mm. All right, I'm randomizing. <laughs> mm. What's up, Luigi? <clears throat> We could do some trivia. We will. I just want to get some box numbers called so we can do another break. I say do some twista, not trivia. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we play something these folks would like? Uh, I can make you a celebrity overnight. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, yo. Yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa. Oh, whoa. 18. Whoa. I fight Fallout Walt for charity. Okay, we'd love to see that. That'll be a little, uh, little pay per view. Who's fighting who? Boxes. In the break room? While we're breaking boxes? 18. What number? Oh, yours. Wait, why? Why? why, why? Merriman. The who, Maryland Terrapins. Who in MLB has Sean Merriman? Wait, 4,256 hits. Cal Ripken. Ted Williams. 
Eighteen. <laughs> Donnie will make you a celebrity overnight. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. Put you on blast, Danny. Put somebody on the blast. You sound like little Windex. Is that good? No. no. That's got to be good. No, it's definitely not good. What's wrong with little Windex? You, you look him up after the break. Just see what is it bad? Yeah, you get you have Josh toasted you. Josh, I will. Your butt cheeks out here looking like marshmallow. S'mores, bro. Toasted you, dude. What is going on in here? <laughs> we got oh, Tyran Matthew. Nice hit. Of course, Pete Rose. Tyran Matthew. Going to the AFC West for Justin Botter. Nice hit, Justin. Look at number 32 right there. 3 2. I said T Matthew. Chiefs. Chiefs. Marcus Allen. <laughs> Love that guy. He's dope. Jersey 2. Why don't we. Excuse me. Honey Badger. That's right. Celebrity Deathmatch. Gare Bear versus Zeus for the right to Mount Olympus Throne. Garrett, how do you feel about that? Um, give me a few weeks. Let me just. I gotta get back on the gym. <laughs> Gonna take some free workout to the dome. Dude, I might. Have, dude, I had some teammates in high school who used to snort it. So. Yeah, I've seen it. If you can, if they can do that, then I can certainly take it to the eyelid. To the eye. If, if not. I've seen it happen before in my real life. No, just like rub it on my eyelids. Why would you do that? I, it's trying to be cool. It's trying to be a TikTok influencer. Hey, kids, make sure you put your pre-work on your eyes. <laughs> this is Lil Windex? <laughs> you looked him up. <laughs> Who the hell is Lil Windex? Why is this guy famous? Why is this guy famous? Because he's not very good at what he does. That makes sense. Yeah. Did it bad? Yeah, he's not very good. Oh, good stuff. Should I put his picture on the break? Yeah. No free shout outs, but yes. What? Josh Jacobs. I don't it's not the real Josh Jacobs. I know that. Yeah. Just call a, me Lil Windex. Big, on the break. Fake Josh Jacobs. Yeah, not the real Josh. Not even the real Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Box 11. Thanks, Josh, for calling out box numbers. Appreciate you. Oh, Josh, thank you. Sorry. Sorry about that one, Josh. 11. Celebrity. I'll well, not stand for hatred in here. It's good. Not bad as rapper as Lil. Yeah, I would assume so. I would assume someone with that title isn't very good at what they do. How about Lil Toe Jam? Never heard of Little Toe Jam? <laughs> Here we go. Tailgate number two. Looking for college helmets only out of this series. Oh! Let's go. Yeah! Dude, this is big. Woo! Fanatic COA. Oh. That's big. That is big. For the first time in a long time, we're pulling mm. this guy out of our mystery boxes. Oh. He is headed to the University of California. It is Aaron Rodgers, Cal, Woo! Michael Walker, Rogers. NFC North. Let's go, A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. Michael, let's go. Crispy. Boom. Boom. Aaron Rodgers. How do you feel? Cal. Mixed emotions for me over here. I love it. I love seeing that. You don't get a full ride scholarship to Illinois? He passed? Yeah, they went to community college and then went to Cal. Wow. Didn't work out for that guy. <laughs> bum. Idiot. Bum. What a bum. 
Diva. Fallout says Diva. <laughs> true. Yeah, we true. That's true. I agree with that. Forget that guy. That's an awesome hit, Michael. That's awesome, brother. And Duke Helmet. Cool. Any Duke Helmets? Uh, we would have uh, probably just Daniel Jones from Duke that I can remember. He's the only Duke player I can think of. F yeah, Donnie D. Let's go, Michael's hype. He's hype. Let's go. Crispy hit. He did a signing by me, but I couldn't justify the amount he wanted. Imagine someone wanting any Duke helmet. <laughs> we got North Carolina stuff earlier in the break. Damn. Jamison Crowder. Is he a Duke guy? Ryan Fitzpatrick. Harvard guy. You know that? I did. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Smart dude. Jamison Smart Crowder. Man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't he a Jets guy? James Crowder is a Jets receiver. That would be correct. Yeah, it would be active. NFL players, we got... Gosh. That guy. We got top 10 all-time NFL players from Duke. Number one. Number... Uh, we have Dave Brown, Brian Baldinger, Ray Carlton... Who? Chuck Walker. Who? Bob Matheson. Who? Ed Newman. Who? Mike Curtis. Who? Clarence Ace Parker. Oh, yeah. George Amen. McAfee. Who? And Sonny Jurgensen. I've heard of him. I've heard of Sonny Jurgensen. Who? Wow, the Duke is not putting up good uh, football players. I mean, they're probably more of a hoop school than anything. Hoop school. But, I mean, I, I don't know anything about it. Only two quarterbacks have ever rushed for a thousand yards in a season: Lamar Jackson, Michael, Michael Vick. Vick. Oh, sick! Well done, man. All right, we gotta go get a couple of these defense boxes. I can't believe you've done this. I goofed. All right. 14, 15, 16, 17. Defense. Defense. Sorry, guys. Had the wrong numbers in there. 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's get our randomizer going. There we go. Do you see how good Zach Miller looked at his pro day today? <clears throat> yeah. That, that, wow. That was that yesterday? But, no. man. This afternoon. It was this afternoon. That oh rollout. Gosh. Off the back foot. <laughs> my goodness. Someone say Donnie Rollins looks like. I told. I was told that today. But I quickly told them that they are. How do you know why? <laughs> Zach. Miller. Do I have another jersey up? I'm pretty sure there's already another jersey up. 
Yep, yep, yep. We'll get another jersey up. There should be, if there isn't. Wait, what the hell? D squared. Oh, wow, I'm definitely a dumb dumb. Uh, Gear Profit, we're going to wait a week because we have a couple of the free agent cards that were sent retail. We're waiting for those to be shipped back in, sent back in with their information. How did I just forget about that? Did, is, did you do jersey number two already? Yep. Oh, wow. JSA COA, we got a big time hit. Come on now. Look at how fire this helmet is. Pittsburgh Panthers. College. Speed Authentic. Headliner going to the NFC West for Cole Ashby. And what a beautiful Aaron Donald. Oh my goodness. Look at this stripe on though. So nasty. Do we want a single, double, triple, quad jersey? Let's put single. Single. Cole, let's go, dude. Let's go. Cole Ashby. Pittsburgh Panthers. That's a sick hit. Nice hit, Cole. Congrats, dude. Big time hit. Aaron Donald, Pittsburgh Speed Authentic. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. We got Vince. We got Jake Mannix, Jeffrey, Vincent, Anthony Luigi, Richard Rolf, Derek Pitch. Let's go. We got Script. Number one, we got three boxes in here. We got 31, 32, and 33. And still playing with the same team. Same did not similar. And still playing with the Sam did not similar colors. What do you mean? He's playing He's playing on, oh, on the, the Rams team with similar who have colors. The same colors. Ah. Good call, Danny. All right, Luigi wants box 33. Luigi, thank you for calling on box numbers. I very much appreciate it. Jake Mannix. Whatever. All right. 33 is the Freemasons and Illuminati. Okay. That's got to be good. 33. Bow, 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 bow. Every item that comes out of this box will feature a unique inscription or multiple. Oh, cool hit. JSA COA. We have ourselves an Alabama Crimson Tide hit. On the opposite side, we have something you guys may like. Beautiful big autograph across the front of that helmet. Dwight Stevenson. Two-time national champs on the inscription. His longest tenure is the Miami Dolphins. Going to the AFC East yet again for Jake Mannix. Two hits for tonight for Jake. Here you go, Jacob. Nicely done, sir. Jacob Mannix. Hit on the Lawrence Taylor. Hit on the Dwight Stevenson. A couple throwback goodies tonight for you, Jacob. Well done. Alabama Crimson Tide. Speed rep. <clears throat> I said Jake. All right, let's do a breakdown of what we have posted on the website. See what we got on the website. We got eight spots left, script two. We got seven spots, seven spots. We just filled up college three. If I didn't do college three, there it is. A double box break. There we go. Here we go. We got tailgate number three, a double box break. We got four boxes left in here. We got nine, 10, 12, and 14. 
9, 10, 12, and 14. Derek will accept. I'm sorry, Jacob uh, will accept trades for the Cincinnati Bengals, Ohio State, things like that. Here we go. Double box break for the college tailgate series. Jacob also was a really big OJ Simpson fan. One of the bigger OJ Simpson fans I've ever met. Probably the biggest OJ Simpsons fan I'll ever meet. 14 and 12. Josh, thanks for calling out box numbers as always. Let's go. Tailgate. Was this a two box break or three? Two. Du und du. It says right there. It says, it says double on the title. It says double on the title. It says double on the title. Alright, we got 12 and 14. I just counted the 10 in front of you in front of you. You didn't even give me the time of day. Time of day. 12 and 4. Uh, 8.44. Focus Easy. up on the Central eye. Central time. Jared, focus up on the eye. What? I focus up on the eye. With, with the knife? No, with my With your vinky? With <laughs> <laughs> vinky. Here we go. Ooh, Beckett COA. Dude, cool hit. Here's a guy we really never see. How about this, a little BYU? That's sick. Bring him young. The Cougars. Band of brothers across the front. It is the quarterback, tight end, punt return, kick return, gunner, whatever the hell he plays. $140 million man. Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill going to Michael Crisp in the NFC South. Crispy. For the Nolan Saints. I personally really dislike Taysom Hill, but I got to I got to hand it to him. He you is a you finesse them. He is a worldly talent too. Like to be that good at multiple positions, you know. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm a cool helmet too. I got to show you the back. It's really nice. Got the never forget on the back. BYU. It's got a band of brothers. It's very cool. Look at this. Never forget. Band of brothers. 9-11. Never forget. Taysom Hill. 140 mil for them, huh? Finessed. That is correct. That is a lot of money for him. I don't know where. where, where. House, way. Is he going to be the quarterback? or? He's going to be the tight end the personal protector? Like, what are you paying for? I don't like him as a quarterback at all. I don't think he's very accurate when it comes no, to stinks. the throwing mechanism. Yeah. Alright, 14. Alright. Tailgate number three. Double box break. Here we go. Excuse me. Hold on. You there, man? Damn. Oh, so cool. Back at COA. It made me so nervous for a second. Well, How about this? How about a U of I helmet? Fire. A team that was upset in the tournament by Loyola Chicago. Alma mater for Mr. Dick Butkus. You like that transition? NFC North for Josh Miller. What a beautiful hit. Longest tenure with the Chicago Bears. I'll say sort of. My bracket was busted because of those fellers. So. Dude, I'm I a little so upset. I got really nervous because I looked up in that box. I looked in the bag. Yeah. And I could only see the orange front with the stripe. Yeah. And I thought it was a Cleveland Browns helmet. Oh, that had made its way into the series. That made crazy. That would be bad news. But no, it is an orange helmet signed by Dick Butkus from the U of I, and that is a shut authentic. Shut authentic. That's sick. Josh, congrats, dude. Beautiful auto too. Sixteen. Whoa. There you go, Josh. It says I'll take it. Dang, Skippy. All right, give me 
here. How are we doing over there? Anything full? Yeah, we just filled up running for miles number three, which means number four is going to be... Quad! Oh, quad! 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 Josh, you pick up on that Volf pack? Josh just earned $10 in UA break credit. Hey, what happened? What happened? Josh Miller. Josh just picked up on the song I just sung for one second. Incredible stuff, actually. Incredible. Multi-talented. You got it. Something I like in the chat. Congrats. That's what I'm talking about, Josh. I'm a big fan of you now. You and I are cool. Here we go. We got running for miles number three. That's going to be another double box break. Uh, that was a rep, Michael Walker. That was a that was a shut replica. So we got twenty three and twenty six. Six. Uh, we got twenty eight, thirty two. We got thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, forty. Before I forget, we got to set three of those aside. For whom? Retail. Okay. 28 and 40. Thank you, Michael. Sorry. I was just thinking of it. Can you do that after? Or I can put them on Steve's desk. Yeah, I'm just going to put them above Steve's desk. Above Steve's desk? What the hell is going on with this randomizer, man? It's a keyboard. Give me a tough time. All right, here we go. 28 and 40. Michael, thanks for calling out the box numbers. We have 26, not 28. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mike. Can you give me a different one? We don't have 28. We have 26, though. I was wrong. Frank Sinatra. Thanks, Mike. Derek. What up? Give me one athlete that word number 26. Saquon Barkley. Nice. Dave Dewars. Saquon Barkley is correct. Here we go. Dave Dewarson was 26-28. Davey Dewarson. This guy wore number 33 in his day. Clinton Portis, that's a good one. He did. We got ourselves the NFC North. Mike Kircher. It's Charles Tillman. Charles Tillman on that throwback, that three stripe, that's cool. That's a good helmet. Doesn't Josh Jacobs wear 26 or is he 28? 28. 28. 28. What are 26s? Uh, Rod Woodson. Jerome Bettis, true. Jerome Bettis wore 36. Oh, he was 36. Wrong. Who said that? Come on, John. Who said that? Come on, John. <laughs> Come on, Brett. That's easy. That's easy money. There you go, Mike. Congrats, man. Charles Peanut Tillman. 33. He was 33. Kyle Clover. His whole career he was 26? No. When he was on the Bulls, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe he was. He might have, actually. Been. I know he was with the Hawks for a while. He was. That's correct. JSA COA. Our hit is headed out to the AFC West. We have an ex-Denver Bronco, one of my favorite autos in the game. Love his penmanship and handwriting. Super clean. That is Randy Gratishar. Randy Gratishar, very clean auto, part of the Denver, uh, the Orange Crush defense. That goes to Andy T. Andy. Bop, 
Josh looking to trade that. Uh, he is looking to trade that Dick Butkus. U of I shut authentic. I'm sure you can find a trade for that, Josh. It's a cool hit. Jacob Manning says, go Bucks. Yeah, he's a U of I. I mean, he's a he's a Ohio State guy. Right? Very well done. Garrett, how are we looking over there? Uh, nothing close yet. Okay, nothing close yet. Well, we have a quick second. I'm going to play our A-Train autographed football series video for you guys now. Ball me, Blazer. The ball is in your court. Let's give me the ball. At Ultimate Autographs, we have balls. In the A-Train series, we have some of the most impressive balls you've ever seen. We're boasting signed footballs from Tyreek Hill, Nick Chubb, Curtis Martin, and Michael Vick. So hop on board the A-Train series today and get the balls you need only at ultimateautographs.com. All right, there we go. There's a little heads up of what the you guys life by the balls. Back in the A train video, yes, sir, Garrett. Don't worry about it. You can, I suppose. What's going on in the sports world? Big news out of uh, the NFL today. So, I'm gonna get the complete breakdown. Of the Dolphins trade. Nope, not what I wanted. Hey, big news. Uh, 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 hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chase Daniels signs with the Chargers. Chase Daniels to the Chargers. Woo! Boom! All right, here we go. This is the Eagles, the Eagles trade as well. So we have the Eagles shook up the first round of April's draft. With a blockbuster trade on Friday, the Eagles traded the number six pick and the number 156 overall picks to Miami Dolphins for the 12th pick. Acquired Friday from the San Francisco 49ers and the 123rd overall pick and a 2022 first round pick. The Eagles now have the potential to have three first round picks in 2022. Along with their own and the Dolphins first round pick in 2022, the Eagles could also gain the Indianapolis Colts first round pick as well. As of now, they own a conditional second-round pick from Indianapolis. That pick could turn into a first-round selection if the Colts make the playoffs or Carson Wentz plays more than 70% of Indianapolis's offensive snaps. That's pretty cool. I like the conditional thing. If he's good, we get a better pick for him. That's a cool thing. I like that. I like that. This is the Eagles. I want to see what the heck happened with that Dolphins trade. So, Dolphins today. Uh... Dolphins and the 49ers, right? Right? Correct. At T Mobile, we believe you should get more. Introducing Magenta. Alright, let me see. Let's see the full breakdown. But uh yeah, what's up, Kobe? It was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. Alright, so we have. Okay, someone give me the damn pick. All right, here we go. Nope, not it either. Son of a... Got a job offer from Italy and a fire chief offer from my local department. No Italy for me. There you go, man. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Big time congrats. Job offer from Italy. He's going to have to go visit. <laughs> hey, well, he's not going there, but if he was. No, no, I said he's just going to have to visit. Take me with you. Because he's not. Take us with you. You didn't miss what I'm, okay. I said what you're, I get what you're saying. No, I didn't know. Okay. Whatever. Screw you. you. <laughs> Did you figure out the breakdown already? Man? I can't find it anywhere. Look it up on Adam Scheffner's Twitter. I got you, big dog. All right, let me look at the 2021 NFL draft order. All right. So now we have Jacksonville will get number one. New York Jets get two. San Francisco now has the third pick that they got from Houston, who Houston got from the Dolphins. Oh, no. In the Laramie Tunsil trade, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Then we have Atlanta, Cincinnati, Miami is now six that they got from Philadelphia. Philadelphia moves to 12. 
that they got it from San Francisco. Uh, so, man, you think the Philadelphia Eagles did a good thing with that trade? Say that. Say the trade again. For sorry, I forgot. They went from six to twelve, right? Yes, but they got another pick for next year. So next year they could potentially have three first round picks. I see. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Six to twelve. What can they get at twelve? Offensive line help. Let me see what an NFL Secondary. mock draft. So let's look at NFL mock. Potentially wide receiver. NFL mock draft. Coming up on it. Coming up on it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Four round 2021 NFL mock draft 2.0. 49ers pounce on Trey Lance at number three. Across the country, Chevy certified service technicians. Quiet. All right, we got number one. Everybody knows number one. It's going to be Trevor Lawrence. Now the New York Jets are projected to pick Zach Wilson from BYU. And after today... I could 100% see that happening. His pro day was one of the best I'd seen. I mean, I saw eight clips on Instagram, but it looked good. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Trey Lance going number three from North Dakota State. That's interesting. Who was that too? The 49ers. But they came forward and said, Jimmy G is our guy. Yeah, a lot of teams have said that. In regards to their starting quarterback. That's yeah. what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what you're saying. Atlanta Falcons get Kyle Pitts. Okay, best tight end in the game. Best tight end in the, in the game. In the draft. He's good. He's very good. Pitts is a unicorn who will create mismatches inside and outside for the Falcons. Yeah, they can throw him out and outside. They Eagles traded picks 6 and 56 for 12 and 123 and in 2022 first round. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cap. Panay Sewell, offensive tackle for Oregon to the Cincinnati Bengals. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that little help for... Mr. Joey Burrow from Oregon. Pinai Sewell. Then we got Jamar Chase at six to the Dolphins, which would be awesome for the Dolphins. Jamar Chase, the best wide receiver in the league. We could also get a first-round pick if Wentz gets... Yes, that's correct. And he plays 70% of snaps. Oh, interesting. Okay. Jamar Chase, best wide receiver in the draft. And then we got Micah Parsons, Penn State linebacker to the Lions. Justin Fields projected to go eight overall. To the Carolina Panthers. I mean, they still have Teddy Bridgewater, right, for this year. Is he done? He's a free agent, isn't he? He didn't sign with anybody. Who's their quarterback right now? Will Greer? Is it no, his time to shine? On, no, 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 no. I thought Teddy... Go. No, forget. Teddy's Teddy's on the Panthers. Is he with the Panthers? Yeah, my bad. All right, guys. we got a couple of orders coming through still. If you guys would like to jump in on anything else for tonight, we appreciate you. Garrett, why don't you give him a breakdown? What's close? What's close? Uh, let me refresh my page here. We got uh, five spots left. Running Miles, number four, a quad break. We got six spots left. Taylor Gate, number four, a double box break. Two, uh, eight spots left in the script, number two. Uh, six spots left in complete jersey, number three. Four spots left in defense, number two. Uh, complete NFL helmet, number two. He's got four spots left. Four spots left, A train. Five spots left for the Bucks. Cool. Just a few spots away and a couple breaks. Four spots left in our defense platinum series. Four spots left in the complete helmet. So we're we're really really close on a few things. So if you guys, we'll give it a few more minutes. See if you guys are interested in jumping in on anything else for tonight. We do have two shows for tomorrow. Two shows for Sunday. Garrett's here for both on Saturday, and I'll be here for both on Sunday. You got Bazooka Joe with you tomorrow. Let me keep going. So we have oh this kid looked fantastic in his pro day. Patrick Sertain, Sertan, Patrick Sertan, the cornerback from Alabama. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, going 10 to the Cowboys. Sertan, is that how you say that? Sertan? 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 Probably Sertan, sounds right. Sertan, sounds right. That is right. Um, what? What? This, this mock draft has the Bears picking at 11 with the Giants via trade. And they pick Mac Jones. Okay. Wait, wh when did we talk to the Giants about the trade? Uh, it's a mock draft, so arguably it's a... You could Oh, you could do mock trades. Like, yeah. I don't think about that. Mac Jones. I can take Mac Jones. He had a good pro day. Yep. Pocket feel and accuracy are something the Bears lacked in the past few seasons. They give up a third round pick this year and a 2022 first to make this deal, which represents the last chance for Pace and Matt Nagy to jumpstart the Chicago fortunes. Even though they have a long term deal. And they're already on the way out, I hope. Uh, they I think they have a long term deal. They're not on. They're not on the way out, Garrett. I don't think at, even close. That's why they have a long-term, a lifetime deal. I like this pick right here. Thirteen Chargers, Devonte Smith. Think about that. Mm -hmm. 
Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Devontae Smith, Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler. Decent in the West. They need a tight end. Very decent in the West. They need a tight end. Uh, Hunter Henry. Patriot. No, he, Hayden Hurst went to the Patriots, right? Or did they get Hunter Henry, too? They got Hunter Henry and, and Johnny Smith. And Johnny Smith. Man, Hayden Hurst, Hunter Henry could be the same guy. No, Hayden Hurst plays for the Falcons. Hayden Hurst is a Falcon, that's correct. Hey, Chargers, tight end. Who is it? Jared Cook. Ah, I forgot they Jared Cook just signed. Okay. They're good. And who's 34? Still got a lot left in the tank, I think. Yeah, me too. I, I agree with that. He had a good year last year. He did okay. Tight end, they have Jared Cook replacing Hunter Henry. That's awesome, Kevin. Mayfield, Hurts, and Murray is a really cool item. Maybe pretty disgusting. That'd be gross. Obviously in a good, obviously in a good way. That would be gross. I love Devontae Smith for them. That would be so big for the Chargers. We got, uh, who's the next kind of, oh, Jalen Waddell, another Alabama wide receiver, going to the New England Patriots. Mm. Woo! Mm. Come on. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. What do you want, pro football focus? I haven't seen Jalen Hurts, though, in this draft at all. Jaylen. Ooh. I'm sorry. Steelers oh, at 24. What was that? Najee Harris. What did you just say? I haven't seen Jalen Hurts in this I'm not Jalen Hurts. <laughs> uh, Justin Fields. Yeah, he's a. You said Panthers. I did a already. Pick eight. I did say that already. Oh, I'm losing my marbles. Man, you're tripping, dog. I'm losing my marbles in here. Help! This man is tripping. We got. Somebody get this guy some medicine. Out. I don't feel good. You're right. Thank you for catching me on that. Someone said. Someone said this man. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I said shield potion. I, I did say Justin Fields first. He did. And then I said he was not picked up. I don't see jail hurts yet. <laughs> An idiot. Well, uh, a little. It's now the strength quarterback of the Eagles. Najee Harris. I know, Kevin. Thank you for reminding me. He's now their starter. Carson Wentz gone. Najee Harris to the Steelers at 24. Mm, I like Oof. that. I like that a lot. Oof. Oof what? That's a good pick. That's a scary Steeler situation. He's looking pretty good. Pro Day's workouts looking like a starting running back right out the gate. Let's see what we got. The Bears. Uh, where do you think Watson will be traded to? The Bears. Miami. 49ers. Uh, probably f- Jets. It's probably going to stay in Packers. Houston. Packers. It's probably going to stay in Houston. CFL. <laughs> the Penitentiary. League. He's in trouble, dude. Uh, if it's if everything is legit, yes, he's in a lot of trouble, and he will not be playing football any long, much longer. If uh, if all acquisitions acquisition ac- 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 acquisitions ac- acquisitions accusations are truthful, yeah, he will not be playing football any longer. Yep. Um, unfortunate. I guess, but if it actually happened, big, big shame on him. Yep. 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 He's in Heat Man. He's in some Heat Man. I don't think he plays. If he does, I'm thinking Jets. Okay. I mean, get what you can take, right? Longest yard number three. <laughs> Adam Sandler, Burt Reynolds, and Deshaun Watts. They would take down that, that guards team. I mean, they took him down with Paul Crew, who was a stud coming out of college. He was he's got a little, little bit, a little tipsy at the wheel, a little bit, little bit crazy off the handy. He got a little bit tipsy off the handy. Do not drink and drive, please. Nope, you'll end up like Paul Crew. Ryan Murray, thanks for jumping in. Give it a few more. See if we can fill anything else up for tonight. Appreciate the support so far for the UA Live Break Room. It's been fun talking sports, talking football, talking helmets, talking jerseys and minis. Hey, Gare, how about the Red Rifle taking the Bears to the NFC Championship? Um, this is on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook. If that happens, I'm giving everybody... And Periscope. Uh, and Periscope. Uh, if that happens, I will get uh, this, obviously, authorized, but everyone's getting $100 UA cash. Dang! Oh, UA cash. Yeah. Okay. You're not giving away your own money. You're giving away yeah. the company money, but... Yeah. That's why I said I'd get it authorized first. Right. Right. 
Everybody that's watching right now, Garrett says, if Andy Dalton takes the Bears to the NFC Championship, everyone gets $100 in UA cash. I'm sure we'll get clearance on that. Clip it. Clip that. Clip it. March 26, 2021. Watch the... <laughs> Undefeated <laughs> Chicago Bears! <laughs> Andy Dalton, 6,000 yards. First... <laughs> First quarterback ever to hit 6,000? 6, that seems way too easy for a lot of quarterbacks. Sean hit 5,500. No, it's... he had 4,800. Chris, Chris is not on, on board with that. Chris, you'll get your lunch. You'll get your free lunches. All right, man? We're giving away UA cash, and that's final. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, Deshaun Watson had 40, 48, I think was the highest. Because Drew Brees has the most ever with like I think Hold on, Garrett. I'm holding on. Yeah, the most ever is Peyton Manning with 5400. 5400 in 2013 with Denver, Peyton Manning. How much? 5477 yards. Drew Brees is 2. He had 5,476 yards. He couldn't get one more yard and tie it? Slacker. Bring back Peyton, Ditka, and Hester right now. You still have a chance. Um, probably going to need a couple more items than that. Give me Musin Muhammad. Excellent. Bernard Berry, please. Give Desmond me Brandon Clark. Marshall. Bro. Desmond Clark, please. Who was the best tight end in Bears history? Mike Ditka. Playing-wise, you think? I'm listening. What about Greg Olson? Hmm. He didn't do enough. They traded him too soon. What about Martellus Mar Bennett? B. The orange dinosaur? He was the most scary. He was entertaining. The orange dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what was his nickname. That's a horrible bear. nickname. Was a, he's a children's book author now. Is he really? Yeah. Wow, is that true? Terry's in. Thanks, Terry. All right, let's see what we have close. Let me see what we have close. I'll put it in the chat. Four spots to go in Runner for Miles. Quad break. Six spots in the college. Eight spots in the script. Six spots in the jersey. Four spots in the platinum. Four spots in the complete. Four spots in the A-train. Five spots in our bus single box break. So we're right there in a couple breaks, guys. We're right there. Getting closer. Getting closer and closer every minute now. Nothing happens to Phil tonight. We do have two breaks tomorrow with Garrett, and these spots will carry over until tomorrow. March 26, 2021. Garrett promises everyone watching $100 in UA cash. Garrett Campbell. Garrett Campbell. Now, right, what's we got going on here, Garrett? Nothing. ESPN. Let's see what's happening. We got NBA action right now. Hawks and Warriors playing. Hornets and Heat. Nets, Pistons. Ooh, Nets won by two today over the Pistons. Today was the uh, first day that Blake Griffin played against the Pistons. That's pretty cool. I forgot, Blake Griffin used to be, like, amazing, dude. Blake Griffin used to be on Bleacher Report, House of Highlights, every day. It's true. I wonder what he's saying. How many points did he have? Well, James Harden had 44. He also had 14 rebounds and 8 assists. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to guess Walter then. He said, come on, Gare. I'm going to go Walter Payton. No. Gare Sayers? Mm, nope. The Galloping Ghost. Red it's Grange. Cool. It's a cool nickname. It's going to be... Sid Luckman? No. It'll be... Jim Thorpe. 
Jim. Jim Brown. Is it Jim Brown? Beady Feathers, of course. Classic. Fork. Good old Beady Feathers. Don't sleep on Beady. Don't sleep on Beady Feathers. I'm going to look up some highlights of Beady Feathers. I bet you think Beady Feathers has a Ball is Life mixtape? Bro, you got to be on House of Highlight for sure. Is that? What's like the football equivalent to a Ball is Life mixtape? Um, it is uh, overtime, probably. Beady Feathers! <laughs> William Beady Big Chief Feathers! Born in August 1909, lived till March 11, 1979, was an American football player and coach of football and baseball. He played college football and college basketball at the University of Tennessee. Feathers attended Virginia High School in Bristol, Virginia, and led his school to its first state championship as a team before going to the University of Tennessee. Started as a halfback for Tennessee Volunteers, led by team coach Robert Nealon. Feathers was a consensus selection to the 1933 college football All-America team. Should I say his whole career? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers played professional football in the National Football League with the Chicago Bears, Brooklyn Dodgers, and the Green Bay Packers from 1934 to 1940. In his rookie Long season time. of 1934, he became the first player in NFL history to rush over 1,000 yards in one season. He averaged 8.44 yards Ooh. per attempt. The same year remains an NFL record. Damn. As of 2019, his 91.3 yards Damn. per game is also a Bears rookie franchise record. Feathers is one of 10 players named to the National Football League 1930s All-Decade Team who have not been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. My man was snubbed. How has he not been? Snubbed. How? Is, how? How? How did he not make the Hall of Fame? He was the first player ever to rush for 1,000 yards. And then I, literally the I literally love this guy. Damn. I literally love him. Oh, let me look my... Let me look. Bad and your mama, I'm sorry. You only love your bed and your mama? No, I was just looking at what B looks like. Oh, man. Baby. Nice little Baby. middle part. Crispy. That boy, fresh cut before that picture. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Boom. How come BD isn't in yet? BD Feathers a couple nice cards on eBay right now, too. Like one a... time all pro. Only one time all pro. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna really hurt your. You think your they stock. had all pro back then? <laughs> really, hurt, really hurt your your Hall of Fame stock there. How was he not in? How was he not in? Not really sure. The first player to ever rush for a thousand yards. He had the highest yards per carry. He also rushes eight point four yards per carry. That's a lot. Ninety three yards a game. Come on now. Come on, Hoff. Let my man beat you. Ken, you are rude. I'm upset for him. I'm, I'm, yeah. He hasn't been alive for 50 years. I'm still upset about it. Like, he doesn't even know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He just, he just died sad. He's like, wow, I didn't get a gold jacket. Gold jacket, green jacket. I'm gonna... Blake Griffin in his first game against the Pistons puts up 17 points, three boards. I actually dropped him in fantasy basketball because he was trash. James Harden, very good at basketball. Sorry. What happened to you? He put a 44 for me tonight in fantasy basketball. Thank God for that guy. Mmm. Damn, those be tough. I'm getting blown out in fantasy basketball. Fantasy basketball stinks kind of because you got to look at it every dang day. And if you forget, your team just gets blown out. And it's a weekly thing, so you fall behind a day. Of course. Right, I'm aware. Have okay. I told you guys I literally hate being a Magic fan? <laughs> First of all, why are you a Magic fan? Wait, a bum? That's an anomaly? What do you mean? <sighs> Something that deviates from what is standard, normal, or expected. Uh, games, I think, feel like I have a small reason, probably because of Penny and Shaq. True. You know. True. Then you got a little T-Mac in there, mixed in. Thomas is in. Thanks, Thomas. So, I mean, that, that, that makes probably the reason, Games. Let's see if we can fill up anything else. Come on. Really close. Donnie, name your all-time starting lineup for basketball point guard to center. LeBron. 
Chill. Michael. Donnie. LeBron. LeBron. Donnie. LeBron. <laughs> oh, my bad. Sorry. All right. Donnie, because only Donnie gets to answer questions. Here, right yours down. We'll see how ours, how ours, uh. I don't have it. Oh, just kidding. I got off. We'll see how ours compare. Oh, you write yours down. All right, we got PG. We got SG. We got SF. We got PF. And we got C. All right. Yeah, I'm not even a LeBron fan. Luigi. All right. All right, give me a second here. This is hard. I'm thinking Brian Scalabrini at the four. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Um. Penny. Saul, Saul wants me to pick Penny. Cole's in. Steven's in. John Ogden's in. A couple orders still rolling in here. Okay, give me a second. Up. You didn't like that list? You didn't like that list? No. Um. Hey, Terry. Luca, but I can't put him above the other guys. I want Luca. Do I take him? Probably not. I mean, you certainly could do that. Gonna make that decision. All right, I got it. All right, Garrett, let me see yours. Garrett picks. Dang. Okay, Kareem, not a power forward, but I see what you're doing. You want a bigger guy at the PF? I like it. That's correct. Yes. Dude, we were so close. Yeah. Garrett picked Allen Iverson, Jordan, LeBron, Kareem. Fringe center. Probably center. We're, we're playing a bigger lineup here. Shaq. Playing a little bit of a bigger lineup here. My lineup was Iverson, MJ, LeBron, Tim Duncan, and Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, I like that. I couldn't think of any power forwards off the top of my head, and I'm like, Kareem, you could throw Kareem in the power forward. He's got a power forward card in, in 2K. That's the only reason. Does register as a center. Oh, man, I must want Will Chamberlain, too. All right, let me do another one. Let me do another one with different guys. I mean, you can, you can interchange that with so many players. You can literally interchange it with every player. Yes. Let's do my, let's do my backup team. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you can put Pat Ewing in. Bum. Round mount of rebounds. Bum! Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> Zach Levine. Larry Johnson. <laughs> uh, Gams, will there be any more Brady? Yeah, 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 for sure. Christy, Chris, 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 for sure. Uh, whatchamacallit? Felici Felici Cameron Felicio? Yeah, whatever that guy Cristiano is. Cristiano Felicio? Yeah, that guy. That dude. I feel like this team right here will never lose a game. Shit about that. I just put a lineup down there. Probably this team will go 82 and 0. What do we got? Lulu, Kobe. Lu Luka Doncic. Yep. Kobe. Lulu, Kobe, Kevin Durant, Carl Malone, and Will Chamberlain. That team goes 82 and 0. Who are they playing? Though? Like in what era? 
They get to play today's Detroit Pistons. Every for eighty two games straight. For fifty six of the eighty two games. Okay, it's weird. Lulu, Kobe, Durant, Malone, and Will. Dude, come on, man. Come on. I was like this team better than the first team. Woo! <laughs> I'm excited about that. I don't know why I like that roster so much. I'm just a fan of it. Kevin Durant's got to be on somebody's team. Who from like 19... Like who? You know they say like the Jordan era. You've got like pre-Jordan era. The 80s. Mm -hmm. Who would be able to lock down Kevin Durant in the 80s? They would have never seen, like, a man of that build with the outside shooting ability. Maybe people are going to say Larry Bird, but nope. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Like, who who is comparable from the 80s to Kevin Durant? Size-wise and ability-wise. Gary Payton or Dennis Rodman? Could, Gary Payton's too small. Dennis Rodman, I feel like maybe. That's a good one, Luigi. I feel like Dennis Rodman would do fine. But... I'm still thinking. Oh, maybe Scotty Pippen. Maybe Pip. I think Kevin Durant gives Gary Payton buckets, by the way. He could take him in the post. Gary Payton, six foot. Here we have some full. Yes. yes. Ryan, Michael, Ryan Campbell. Ryan, thank you guys for jumping in. We appreciate you very much. Who else could guard KD from the 80s or 90s? Pippen. Who else? I kind of want Steph Curry on the team, too. I, I agree, Derek. I think Pippen could play some D on him. I can see that. But other than that, who's big enough or fast enough? Kevin Durant gets buckets. Kevin Durant is 6'9 with a 7-foot wingspan. He can shoot the 3 over your head, and he can take you in the post. Oh, shoot. Take you off the ISO. My goodness. Joe Dumars. You think Joe Dumars could guard Kevin Durant? Dumars, good defender. He just might be too small. All right, we good, Garrett? Yes. Running for miles number four is full. Guys, thank you very much for the fill. Kobe, look at that. Kobe, we got four boxes left in here. I'll just take those four if you're cool with that. Hey, Flimp. That's Ryan. Hey, Ryan. All right, so we have a quad mini. Uh, no, we did not. We did not pull Richard Sherman yet. No. 35, 36, 37, and 32. For focus. There we go. Yeah, Cole, that was sweet, dude. Thank you. That was awesome. Back in COA. Guys, wind it down here. Let's see what we got. We have a wow, look at this big old, big old autograph. Is running for four a quad? Yep. All right. Okay, what? It's a quad break, isn't it? That's correct. Bernie Kosar. Bernie Kosar going to the AFC North for Kobe. Here you go, Kobe.
That is a giant autograph. Bernie does a nice job on his auto. It almost looks fake. To, like, double cert, like, certed and everything, but I don't know why. Like, the way he writes it is so big and so clean that it looks like someone had faked his autograph. In a good way, I guess, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, here we go. 35. Thirty-five. All right. Thirty-five. We have a Beckett COA here. Thirty-five. I went to the University of Utah, if I'm not mistaken. He was a Ute. The Utah Utes. Jamal Anderson going to the south. Running back. Michael K. Michael K. Running back, former running back. Invented a dance for, for the Falcons called the Dirty Bird. Congrats, Mike. That's a nice hit. It's cool. Six. Yep. Yep. JSA COA. Good hit here. Great hit here. Legend. Hall of Famer. Heisman Trophy winner. OJ. OJ Simpson on the Eclipse Mini. Beautiful. Signed in white. That is nasty. Steven. Steven. Here you go, Gams. Fourth and final mini. Thirty seven. JSA COA. We've had Michael, we've had Gams. Fourth and final, nice hit. Hall of Famer class of 2020 recently got in. Mr. Steve Hutchinson for the Vikes. Ryan B. Nice hit, Ryan. Well done. Four different divisions. Four different divisions. I'd like to see a couple different guys win. All right, we got defense number two. Defense number two. We got Danny Dredge, Luigi Kobe, Josh, Cole, Josh, uh, Ryan Campbell, and Oliver. Oliver, this may be your first time playing with us. Oliver, if so, we appreciate you joining us. We got 16, 14, 15, 16. 14, 15, and 16. Get a box number going. Gary, you're doing a lot of quiet work over there. Alright, man. You're scaring me. Don't don't be afraid. Luigi wants 15. How many spots left in that double college, Garrett? Three. Three! Anything else close?
Here we go. 15 defense. Number two. No, nothing else. Uh, Three spots left in the college. Let's try to get a build. Oh. Awesome hit. Awesome hit right here. Back at COA. Beckett, COA, going to the G-Man. We have ourselves a legend. That's a beautiful hit. That's a beautiful hit. Going to the Giants, Mr. Cole Ashby. That is Michael Strahan. That's a beautiful hit. 22 and a half sacks, most of all time in a season. Now he's a TV personality. Was on a morning show with Good morning, America. Kelly. Mm, Kelly and Michael. Hell, was her last name? She was with before. It used to be Regis yes. and Kelly. Yep. Kelly Trapuca. Kelly Trapuca. Who's that? No, that's a basketball player. Kelly. Kelly, was it Ripa? Yeah. Kelly Ripa. There we go. Michael Strahan, Riddell Pro Line. Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Is that who's on it now? I'm not a fan of the morning shows. I don't really watch a lot of TV, to be honest. A lot of ESPN, I suppose, sports, but... Not a big TV morning guy. All right. There we go. Woo! All right, guys. Maybe coming down to the wire here for our UA Live breaks. We'll give it a minute or two, see if we can fill up the tailgate. Tailgate number three, I believe. Tailgate number four. Sorry, two spots left. Let me link. We'll fill that tonight. We'll fill that tonight. Let's get a filler here. Who's going to close it out? Good morning, America 3. They were on. Kevin, I like that you know this stuff. That's why I can rely on you for these things. Headliners, Peyton Manning, Jim Kelly, Chase Young, Aaron Donald was pulled. LaDainian Tomlinson, Aaron Rodgers was pulled. And we have a Ray Lewis University of Miami, the Hurricanes. Two spots to go in that. Uh, I actually think you just, I think you pulled the Aaron Donald in the defense. Oh, you're right. We had two of those floating about. Who will win the NL MVP this year? Let me hear it in the comments. Who do you guys think is going to win the NL MVP for baseball? Mookie Betts. That's a good guess. Mookie could win. Let's get a couple guesses. Um... Mookie, I like. How about Tatis? Okay, of course, yeah. Acuna? Yeah, okay, yeah. Or Arenado? Uh, one more. NL MVP. We have two orders. Bryce Harper? Kevin thinks Bryce Harper's got a shot. Johnny Ferris? Bruce Thomason? Thanks, guys. I'll put Harper on there. Wait, Phillies are AL. Aren't they AL East? No, they're NL, NL East. East. Yeah. Because AL East is the Yankees. Oh, complete helmet or just filled up? Complete, complete helmet? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know we were close on that. All right. Sweet deal. All right. So we got complete helmet, then we'll run the tailgate double. 
Uh, it's not filled up yet. We will fill it. Okay. We will. We will fill it. Here's a link for that college double. Right after we run this complete helmet. Guys, we got 25, 31, 35, 36. Thank you, Garrett, for getting our list updated so quickly. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. 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 We literally have one spot left for the tailgate. One spot to go, tailgate. Let's fill it. $76, double box break. 76 bones. You're getting two helmets to keep the same division for both. So we got Mookie, Tatis, Acuna, Arenado, and Harper. Who else? Cody Bellinger? Yeah. I saw a funny video today. You know that, that TikTok trend where they call someone and they go, oh, can I call you back? Uh... Justin Turner did one of those. Go to place for the Dodgers. Yeah. And Cody Bellinger's answer is so very Cody Bellinger. He answers and goes, Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> like, st it seems stoned out of his mind. Yeah. Classic Cody. He was just like, his eyes were like closed. What's up, bro? He did one of those with T.A. Tim Anderson did one of those? T.A. did one of those. Did he call Lewis Roberts? Uh... I don't remember who we called. Is Tim Anderson your favorite current baseball player? Yeah. He's pretty swaggy, isn't he? He's, he's cool. Going to the AFC South. 2,006 yards in 2009. It is Chris Johnson, Mr. CJ 2K. Joshua D. That's it, Josh. Good one. AFC South for the Titans. Chris Johnson. Garrett. Yo. If the Bears don't win, like, I know you have an AFC team. Would your AFC team be the Titans? Uh, my AFC team is the Steelers. Is that, is that an incorrect answer? Because... I know your AFC team is not the Titans. So. <laughs> no. you, can't, you can't look me in the face and say, why AFC team is the Titans? Because I know the answer is the Colts. Right, but I'm saying, why is it the Steelers? Because uh, I've been a Steelers fan for quite some time. Who's, who's, your, favorite, who's your favorite Steeler? Of all time? Yeah. I mean, you gotta go with Troy P. Dude, I just saw a highlight film because it was his birthday. Yeah. Dude, Troy P made some of the most incredible plays ever. Troy P is amazing. See you later, Luigi. I mean, have if, a great weekend, dude. If, if, if I'm not a true Steelers fan, then why do I have a Rashawn Mendenhall jersey? <laughs> <laughs> why do you have a Rashawn Mendenhall jersey? Because he was cool at the time, and he also went to the University of Illinois. Did he? He did. Cool. He played with the realist Ben, who played for the Buccaneers. He played with Juice Williams, who didn't do anything in the NFL. How about Cadillac Williams? Uh, that's another guy. He went to... Uh, Tampa Bay. No, I don't know. Well, I don't remember what. I think he's an would. Auburn guy for some reason. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Wow, that's impressive. Yeah! How'd you know that? I don't know how why I knew that. Why is Cadillac? I don't know why the hell I knew that. That's Carnell oh, Cadillac Lamar. Williams, bro. Carnell Lamar Williams. I can't believe I just got that right. It's incredible stuff. That's impressive stuff, Rollins. Thank you, Garrett. Once in a while, I say some funny and smart stuff. 9 and 10 for the tailgates. Guys, thank you very much for the fill. Boom! Double box break. Thank you guys for helping us fill it up. Everyone's divisions are set. We go longest tenure or we go current team. Let's pull some fire. Let's pull some fire. Cadillac Williams. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be longest tenure. We have a Beckett COA. We got ourselves an Oklahoma Boomer sooner. Gary, yeah, you might have to look up his longest tenure for me. This is Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford, the 08 Heisman Trophy winner. That's a really nice I'm auto. pretty sure it is. I was thinking Minnesota. The Rams. The Rams? 
No, 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 no. It's not. Let me. I, I said. I, I, hold on. I think it, it, it's a really good guess. It's Rams. Yeah. It is Rams. That's Rams. <laughs> Josh Mill, how long did he play for the Rams? Five years. How, how long did he play for Minnesota? Two years. Anybody else in between? Arizona Philly at the end of his career. Los Angeles Rams. Big old. Sam Bradford, would you consider him a bust in the NFL? He was really good in college, man. Mm, oh, let me look at it again. I mean, he played ten, almost what, almost what, ten years? Let me look at it. Sammy played, B. Uh, he played. He played ten. He played. Sorry, eight years. Eight, eight years. Seasons. Is he a Pro Bowl or ever? Uh, no, just offensive player of the year. Offensive rookie of the year. Okay. How? I'm not really sure. Yeah. He went seven and nine as a starter. Threw for 3,500 yards and threw 18 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Did that win him <laughs> Offensive Player of the Year? Hey, was there no other offenses I'm in the sorry, NFL? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? There were no other offenses in the NFL. Bro, <laughs> there's no one. They were on right, strike. 2010. This is an awesome hit. COA is trapped in there. Here we go. Take a look at this helmet right here. Take a look at this helmet. We are going to Nebraska. The 98 Orange Bowl MVP. It's Mr. Amon Green. Amon Green back at COA. And it is going to Kevin Finn in that NFC North spot. His longest tenure are the Green Bay Packers. Kevin! Nice hit, dude. I mean, I mean, there were not very many good candidates in 2010. Who else? Uh, Bleacher Report put out the top 10 NFL candidates. Countdown of top 10 candidates for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Number 10, Ryan Matthews. Number 9, Mike uh, Upati. 8, J Jacoby Ford. 7, Marquise Pouncey. 6, Tony Moaki. Tony Moaki. 5, Chris Ivory. Oh, he's actually he's Four, turned out to be okay. Like Garrett Blunt. Okay. Five, dual Rob Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez. Two, Mike Williams, number one, Sam Bradford. That was a weak that is, rookie class. I can see why he won. He won by default. He won because eh, he won Heisman Trophy. He was the number one overall pick. Kevin, that is a shut authentic. Here's a shut job. authentic, dude. Shut authentic. Easy. I mean, I, there, there's got to be. Maybe, I, you know what? I, I guarantee you we could look it up, like, re re awarding the 2010. I feel like there's somebody in the 2010. True. That turned out that, to be that was better. Alrighty, guys. Looks like that's going to do it for tonight. We very much appreciate all the support here for the UA Live breaks. We got two breaks tomorrow. Kevin, you did, man. You did really well there. Two breaks tomorrow. We'll have all the same stuff posted. We'll have eight different series ready to rock and roll for Garrett and Joe tomorrow. Garrett, thank you for joining us here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And you guys, thank you for joining us as well. I'm Donnie Rollins. That's Garrett Campbell. Until tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, we've got some more UA Live breaks afoot for you guys. Thank you for joining us. Until then, stay safe, guys. Take care. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time.